there will be a meeting at Google's headquarters in Mountain View, California, tomorrow. At that meeting, Google's parent company Alphabet's executive committee will decide to sell at least 80% of the company's assets, including the Google search engine, immediately. They just found out that investing in Amazon, Apple and Microsoft could be highly profitable for them. They will invest all the proceeds from the sale into these companies without delay. Alphabet's CEO, Sundar Pichai, told reporters that Alphabet would become a very rich company within the next five years as a result of this unprecedented business decision. Thank you for joining me for this video. I want to ask you directly, what is the possibility of Alphabet taking such a decision, not tomorrow, ever? The answer is zero. It will never happen. Alphabet will not invest in Microsoft, and Microsoft will not invest in Alphabet. Alphabet will not invest in itself as much as it wants others to invest in it. The reason is simple. They all are looking for a better investment opportunity. It is easy for me to sit here and tell everyone to invest in Meta, Microsoft, Netflix, Amazon, or Nvidia. They are successful companies with decades of capital appreciation behind them. They have robust research and data processing units that help them bring new products to the market, increasing their market cap and their shareholders' equity year after year. I want to be popular as a remote stock analyst on YouTube. Recommending these stocks would take me closer to that goal. But my question is, will that actually benefit you? And how much? Will that be relevant to you, considering your financial situation? Your time is valuable. If you give me your time, you must get something valuable from me in return. Even though you can't see me, I believe I must tell you what is best for you, which is not to invest in Apple, Microsoft, Netflix, Amazon, Meta, Nvidia, Adobe, or any similar mega cap stocks. You see, Alphabet's market cap is $1.88 trillion. If we consider that amount $2 trillion for the sake of calculation, its market cap needs to be $20 trillion if we want its share price to rise 10x in our lifetime. It may have risen 100x in the past, but it is hard to imagine that it would rise another 10x. The reason is that Alphabet has put a break on its acquisition program recently. Big companies like Alphabet depend on their acquisitions for astronomical growth. Alphabet's last major acquisition was data analytics company Looker in 2019. Before Looker, they acquired HTC, a telecommunications company, in 2017. Because of high interest rates and inflation, they have not acquired anything recently. This will affect their revenue and growth in the future. You may remember that Alphabet acquired YouTube in 2005. What an acquisition that was and how much YouTube has energized Alphabet's revenue in the last two decades. In the same way, Microsoft acquired Composable Infrastructure Fungible in 2023 and Lumensity and Activision Blizzard in 2022. And Apple acquired Intel smartphone modem business in 2019 and Dialog Semiconductor in 2018. I am sure many of you know that Microsoft took a significant stake in OpenAI in 2019. Now let us see how much Alphabet and Microsoft paid for their acquisitions. This information is directly related to the investment decision you may make today. First, Alphabet. Its randomly selected five acquisitions are Number one, YouTube, $1.65 billion. Number two, HTC, $1.1 billion. Number three, ITA Software, $700 million. Number four, Fitbit. $2.1 billion. Number five, look at $2.6 billion. Microsoft's randomly selected five acquisitions are number one, GitHub, $7.5 billion. Number two, Yamaha, $1.2 billion. Number three, Visio Corp, $1.5 billion. Number four, Skype Technologies, $8.5 billion. Number five, Fungible, $190 million. Microsoft acquired Activision Blizzard at $68.7 billion and LinkedIn at $26.2 billion, but they are exceptions. The general trend 
is that these mega companies look for enterprises ranging between 500 million and two billion dollars. Microsoft took its stake in OpenAI with just one billion dollars. These companies believe small enterprises will turn into big companies one day and bring them the highest return possible on their investment, something buying stakes in well-established companies like theirs won't do. Now my question to you is if these smart mega companies are looking to invest in small companies like Fungible or YouTube, why are you looking to invest in them? Shouldn't you be investing in similarly smart small cap companies? If $1 billion companies are too small for you because of the volatility you may experience with them, why not invest in companies worth $5 to $10 billion? It will be easier for a $1 billion company to become a $10 billion company than a $10 billion company to become a $100 billion company. In the same way, it will be very, very difficult for a $2 trillion company to become a $20 trillion company in our lifetime. There are plenty of $1 to $5 billion companies out there that are great and will grow fast to become mega cap companies in a few years. They have great vision and innovation at their core and are led by excellent people. Maybe one day I will make a video for you on this matter, but you can begin your own research regarding this starting today. If Alphabet grows five times in 20 years, your money has to grow at least 10 times during that period. When you invest, invest with a vision. Understand how investing works and how you can make your money work the hardest. Taking an easy path is not always the most effective solution. I don't want you to lose your shirt, but I also want you to receive the highest return possible from your investment. Buy Meta when Meta is $20 per share, not $400. Buy Microsoft when Microsoft is $5 per share, not $425. If you have not invested your money, at least a part of it, this way, you have not invested your money well. This may not apply to you if your portfolio is over $1 million already. Your main job may be capital preservation and living on the 10% equity growth per year and the dividend income that comes with it. But if you are an average investor who does not have that much money yet, this suggestion may be valuable for you. If your $20,000 grows 100% over the next 10 years, you'll have $40,000 in your portfolio. That will not save you. But if that money grows 25 times, you will have $500,000 in your portfolio. That will take a lot of financial stress off you. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.